very intriguing, this whole XPRIZE thing. Uh, it helped launch the what is now the sort of Spaceship One deal about 10 years ago. But interesting that now you're going kind of incremental with some of the prizes to get a private spacecraft to the moon. Uh, we are. We took a look at what it would take to uh, promote a, us as a spacefaring civilization. There are things you have to do to get out there. And one of the things you have to do is make sure that space exploration is viable. It is not viable if it is solely financed by the taxpayer. All X prizes have an element of private enterprise about them. Uh, you cannot use uh, government funds or principally cannot use government funds uh, to do the work. And so uh, the Google Lunar X Prize was launched to lower the cost of uh, planetary exploration to interest uh, young people in uh, science and technology subjects and careers and to literally extend the commercial sphere to the moon which uh, at this point stops at geosynchronous orbit around Earth where telecom satellites work. Well, let's talk about uh, some of the companies you're working with, SpaceX, Google, Virgin Galactic. Where do they sort of play in this because they're sort of working against each other. Are they competing for this as well as funding it? Uh, no, Google is not a, c a competitor. They are the sponsor, the title sponsor of the prize. They're making it uh, possible. Uh, Virgin Galactic is an outgrowth, if you will, of our first X Prize, which was the Ansari X Prize for suborbital space flight. Uh, our goal uh, when we have an X Prize is that when it's won, it's the beginning of an effort, not the end. And we look. You certainly saw the Virgin Galactic, right? Which looked like it was a one-off, if you will, pun intended, but then it landed and now it's going to be a business. Right, exactly. And we look to leave uh, industries uh, that start nascent industries or uh, industries that have evolved as one of the results of X Prize. That's what will make the innovation sustainable. Without doing that, all you have is a stunt, if you will. Right. And we're right. looking for more than just stunt demonstrations. So imaging, mobility, and landing systems. Talk to me about what these prizes are today, and, and maybe more importantly, what the innovations are. Got it. Um, these are three important phases of a lunar mission. You have to get there, so you have to be able to land uh, softly. Yeah, the uh -huh. getting there is hard. Landing is hard. Getting there is probably harder. It's, uh, well, and the getting there is mostly about capital and not so much about technological innovation. We have the rockets, but it is part of the Darwinian exercise to be able to capitalize your venture. Once you are in the area of the moon, you have to safely get to the surface. That's the landing. Then you have to be able to get from place to place on the surface. That's the mobility. And then finally you... Well, that's the mobility part. I thought of that as a landing. And then you've got the imaging. Imaging. High def is a requirement, which it, I appreciate. As it, it, broadcasting in high def here on Bloomberg TV. Right, exactly. You want to be able to send back uh, video, pictures, and data in a way that everyone can take in. And as part of the Google Lunar X Prize, the competing teams have to send back what we call a mooncast of images, of panoramic, and other views that prove they can do uh, strong imaging from the surface of the moon. So tell me about one of the innovations that you're awarding today. So uh, one of them is for um, uh, mobility. Uh, most people think of a spacecraft that go to the surface of a, another body, another planet, as something that rolls on wheels. But it's not the only way. Uh, people have spacecraft that hop from place to place. They have spacecraft that literally fly from one spot to the next and uh, not just roll on wheels or treads. So we look to uh, award teams that had brought their mobility system along uh, far enough to be uh, recognized. And I do want to mention that an important part of these milestone prizes is we're looking to have the reward match the risk curve. If you wait till the final prize is won until you're actually on the moon, then the reward curve is a huge hockey stick that's all right. at the end. And we're looking to incent these teams as they are on the journey themselves. Most of these teams are still looking to capitalize, and these milestone prizes are a way for these teams to separate themselves from the rest of the pack, if you will. It's really intriguing, not just from a business standpoint, but from a creativity standpoint. It seems like it really challenges the mind with neat solutions. Bob Weiss, X Prize president, thank you very much. Appreciate thank you, Kurt.